Thank you for joining me today at a God vlog. I'm going to talk about how pastors lead community um, communities. Pastors are, are good pastors, are humble um, servants of God. That's how they think of themselves. And like it or not, as, as competent pastors are supposed to do what God calls them to do, not what individual members or factions within a church call them to. Past and, and pastors don't come at that lightly. They weigh heavy scripture and tradition and experience and prayer and job descriptions and church bylaws and councils and congregations. And, and they put all that together with their sense of what's best for the congregation as a whole to hear what God calls them to do. And those things, of course, don't always add up to doing things everyone's way, which is an impossibility if you think about it. And the Apostle Paul, way back in the beginning of the church, faced factions in the church, quarreling for and against him. And Paul didn't mince words about that behavior. He flat out called those bickering in the church over leadership infants in Christ. And he notes that he can't even speak to them as spiritual people or give them anything more than baby Christian milk as nourishment. And the reason is because they're still of the flesh. He writes, for as long as there is jealousy and quarreling among you, are you not of the flesh and behaving according to human inclinations? End quote. And Paul's point is that you cannot get meaty spiritual nourishment if you are bickering with and trying to bully others like kids in a, in a schoolyard. That's not how a healthy church family functions. Healthy church families function with Christ as the focus, not individual members or leaders or squeaky wheels or a group that wants focus. Paul notes Christians must be one, united to and through Christ. That's a healthy church. And Christians do that in order to serve Christ, trying to bring compassion and justice and love to our corner of the world and beyond in an overarching quest for peace. What boils down in the Bible to as shalom, when all is said and done. Christianity is about positive transformation of situations and self, others, community, and creation through love, which is what Christians experience as God. And disagreements about what is or isn't positive transformation or what is or isn't love or God certainly exists, and the complexities of the efforts of a pastor's vocation are many, but ultimately that is what the vast majority of clergy are trying to do. They're trying to lead community toward positive transformation through love, God. And that's what Paul is trying to do in his letter. That's what the gospel is ultimately about. And chances are, that's what your pastor is trying to do. So pray for them, give them a break, provide them support, let them know you like what they're doing. Um, and if you give criticism, give it positively, but always let them know that you love them and support what they're doing. That's how church works best. My name is Scott Elliott. I'm a pastor at First Congregational United Church of Christ in Mount Vernon, Ohio. Please go in peace knowing that you are loved and that you matter much.